Hello, welcome back. And in this video, I want to show you how to place a component on your printed circuit board when you get the error that it cannot be placed. So you're using Allegro or OrCAD, and you want to place your components on the board, right? Because you need to get it done, and placing components is a very important task. But the problem is, sometimes when you try to place a part manually, then it just doesn't place and the command line tells you that so why does this happen it's because usually the footprint is not built properly or by properly i mean it doesn't have the pad stacks in the same directory as the footprint file so let me show you what i'm talking about if we go to the folder that has the footprints then you'll see this. This is the name of my design file, my project file. And if I go in here, Allegro, this is my printed circuit board, my board file. But now my symbols, that is my footprints. What comprises a footprint? Well, in Allegro or ORCAD, what comprises a footprint are multiple things. You need to have all of these in the same directory. Even if you think you do, you may not. So the three file types, the DRA, the symbol that I'm trying to place, if we do a right click application mode, general edit, right click super filter symbol, then we right click on the component and do a show element. We can get all the information about the part. It uses the symbol name SW4 switch for FSM, blah, blah, blah. So that's how you get the symbol name or footprint name that uh, Allegro or ORCAD uses. So you go to your folder then, you look for that name and you see this. Now, you need the DRA file for the symbol or footprint name, okay? This is the drawing file. This is where you can define what it looks like and all that stuff. Once you have certain elements in your drawing file, let's open it up. You have certain elements in your drawing file, right? And I click no, and I'll open this in ORCAD. The number one thing that's going to cause a problem with placing your footprint is not having the pad in the same directory. So I'll explain that. What curse? What's the pad? Okay. So you have your drawing, right? And then you need a uh, your normal footprint elements, I won't go into the details of that, but you need to have these pins or pads. This pin or pad shows up as a .pad file. So this pin name, it has the name RX83Y55D0T, and it's pin 1. This comes from a pad stack with the same name. What's a pad? The pad is just a piece of copper that um, will you can solder your leads for your component onto. Okay, so let me show you how it looks, right? It looks, it's covered in green mask, but this is the copper pad that gets exposed, okay? So what is this? This is definitely a different file in itself. This thing right here, this is a different file, and that also needs to be in the same folder as your drawing file. So what was the name again? Let me see. This right here, RX83Y. Let's look at it. RX83C. This dot pad needs to be in the same folder as the drawing for the footprint. So this is the drawing, the screen that we're looking at now. This pad is made as its own file and it needs to be in the same folder as the drawing. Once you have all the elements, like the reference designator, the symbol, the, the boxes, and all that stuff in your drawing, then you can file, create symbol, which generates a PSM. So that's a third file you need. The drawing makes a symbol based on this, like ORCAD makes a symbol based on this drawing and based on the pad that you have in the drawing. Or based on the pad that you use within this drawing to be more precise really and then you generate the symbol you hit save 
we already have a PSM or part symbol in the folder. So those three things need to be in the folder. You need the drawing, which you're editing, like uh, you know Photoshop or whatever. You need the pad file. I keep repeating it and repeating it. I know you get the point, but I'm just you know repeating it. The drawing file for the footprint. The pad file that's used by the drawing or the footprint. And then the symbol file. Okay. All these three things make up your footprint. And they all need to be in the same folder. Called symbols. I know it can get confusing. Footprint symbols. Uh, okay. Footprints are footprints. Footprints are land patterns in general for any PCB design. But some software packages call them differently. Allegro or, or CAD calls them symbols. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. So how do we fix this problem though? But even though we know this, right? We still get this error when you try to place it on the PCB. It doesn't place. That's because even though the footprint, okay, even though this drawing file shows the pad, the pad may not be in the same folder as the drawing file. So let me show you a little trick. Go to tools, modify design pad stack. Then you can select the pad. That's this thing. You can select it here. You can select it there. Choose edit. This is a little trick. I can guarantee your pad somehow is just not in the same folder as your drawing file. So go to file, save as, put it in the same folder as the drawing file. You click save. Yes. Once you do that, you do file, update to design and exit. You know, you can right click, choose done. You don't even have to modify the drawing. Once you hit save, check this out. When you hit save, it saves the drawing and it saves. It cre automatically creates the PSM as well. Okay. Now we have the drawing file. The, so that's the drawing file, the pad file and the PSM file. Now when we go to our recent design, you know, it's right here. And you try to place, you, you go to manual place again. So application mode, maybe general edit, go to place components manually. You select your component. Okay, let me, let me unplace it right here. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Right click super filter for symbols, right? And I say I unplace this. Now when I go to place components manually, check mark that, it'll show up and then I click hide and then I place my component. It will place. Right click choose done. Alright, so if you'd like to learn more about footprints, PCBs, uh, ECAT software, or electrical or electronics engineering in general, be sure to uh, look at the other videos on my channel. You can also subscribe uh, for notifications about more videos on this channel. And they vary. They vary. So it could be Altium, it could be Orca, it could be KiCad, Eagle. It just depends. You know, it depends on people's questions. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Or you can just email me. Um... You should be able to get my contact or you can add me on LinkedIn or Facebook. That's fine. All right. Thanks for watching.